Hello again, back on rust repairs on the E30. I wasn't looking forward to doing this bit. That was um, just above the rear light where the boot closes and it was um, a few different bends on it. So I didn't want to cut it all out because I thought I might get a bit lost as to how it was, but it was pretty straightforward. So I cleaned it all up. I got the wire wheel on it and the sanding pad and got back to where there was no rust. Um, and took it in sections. So the first section was just a bit of steel owl bracket that I had lying about. Um, I had to trim it down both ways. Um, I, I could have left one side long and cut the part I was repairing to match, but I just uh, cut the new steel to match the existing bodywork. Um, yeah, this is just popping some welds in. I, I had to put a bit more effort into this because you will see it when the boots open. If I, if it's something that's not going to be seen, I'm not too fussed. And also, you know, it, you have to grind it down quite a bit once to clean it up once you've put it in, and it does weaken it. Fortunately, this, the steel I'm putting in is thicker than the stuff that's already there, so you've got a bit to play with. But you know, it's um, it, it it does look better when you put a bit more effort into it. So this next bit was, I just used a bit of box section. Um, it was, um, it, I'm not going to leave it as box section, I, I cut the bottom and the side out. If you can see the existing, it's like a, um, a if I could have got more angle, I would have just used the angle, but they didn't have any angle the right size. This wasn't from a steel merchant, this was from B&Q, this stuff, so I had to sand it all down to get all the it's got like an oil on it otherwise it would just rust up in the shop and no one would buy it so they they put a coating on it so you clean all the coating off otherwise you won't be able to weld it that's with the bottom and the side cut off um so yeah i just put a few um welds on the top just to hold it in place so the next piece i did it was more of a it was just another angle so it was made up of three sections of angle but I like I said I couldn't get hold of any more angle I'd used up all the stuff I had so I bought another sec uh, box section uh, smaller than the other one and it was slightly thinner it was more um, similar in thickness to the existing steel that I'm replacing um, so yeah I just did the same I cut the boss the I cut it down uh, in half really so I had two V's um, so I cut it down two inches. Um, yes, if if you take it piece by piece, it's not too much of a task. If you try doing it in one go, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, there, there's a, there was a bit of a curve at the bottom. The flat piece on the top tapers in. So I copied what was on the other side because it was mirrored. Um, and then, yeah, just slit the um, bottom piece of the angle so I could bend the top piece round. It's all, it's all basic, easy to do. Um, it was just a bit more daunting looking at it all as a, at the first go. The, um, yeah, just, that was, I could weld it all across the top, which would hold the top piece in, because that was only welded either side. Um, so I welded across the top and um, I managed to get underneath and weld as well. So I hold it in place. Um, against the new piece underneath, it wasn't. I mean, there's the the car is right up against the garage door, so it's it's not that much room. But um, you've got to be careful with your cups of tea in there because they just end up getting full of um, sanding dust. Uh, this was all cleaned up, so yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Um, the whole lot is getting sprayed yet, so I'll still be primering it and filling it and going over it, and I just wanted to get get the rust out of it and get a coat of primer on it so I'm not going to get any flash um, rusting on it. You have to excuse the light flicking on and off, it's doing my head in it. I've got to um, replace the bulb. I think because it's so cold out there when it does get cold, um, I think it might have affected the bulb. Yeah, that was the rust killer and then um, coat primer. So that was that bit done and it, a lot easier than I thought. Um, yeah, that was another piece. I didn't video that because um, I think I did a bit of it the other day. Um, the rear, under the rear light, 
that was quite rotten that section so same again I cut all the rust out got back to good steel and it was that was a bit of head scratching as well thinking what am I going to do to get that to work so I just got a piece of the I think it's 1.3 mil steel uh, I put some slits in it so I could get some it's more of a compound curve it's got a curve at the top and then it tapers in as you get lower so I bent um, an angle at the top I mean it looks a million miles away but once you start tacking it on and then knocking it about with a hammer it, it's not it's not too far away um, this was just yeah welding it in it's giving it all the strength back um, I'll put a few more welds on there this was one I couldn't get to when I was, the car was on its side um, so I, I finished that one off as well and yeah, these I just put primer over it then, tidied it up, um, stop it flash rusting. There's quite a bit in the boot that needs tidying up once I uh, once I've finished all this, but I can do that later. Like I say, none of this is going to be seen. It's all under the fiberglass. Um, yeah, and this is the last bit of rust to do on the car, but I'm not looking forward to doing that either. But yeah, should be long now. Thank you very much for watching. Um, see you shortly, hopefully.